Alabama A&M University was awarded a five-year, $8 million MSP grant from the National Science Foundation to provide professional development training to high school physics teachers throughout the state of Alabama. The inspiration for APEX was the result of physics not being required for high school graduation in many schools. Limited data and a decline in highly qualified physics teachers and fewer physics students entering the pipeline. Intervention strategies of APEX were Alabama Physics Education Center, APEC, Physics Teacher Research Component, PTR, and Physics Leadership Development, PLD, which are implemented simultaneously. Technology is also infused into the training. Teachers committed to three two-week summers and two two-day weekend trainings over the course of three years. Over a five-year period, three cohorts of physics teachers have participated in APEX training for a total of 77. The curricula was varied and had innovative topics that can be introduced to students. APEX sustainability strategy was to provide approximately $300,000 of equipment to the Alabama Department of Education, Science and Motion Initiative as support for APEX teachers and non-APEX teachers. Greater impact is achieved when more teachers have access to equipment for classroom experiments. According to program participants, surveys, interviews, internal and external evaluations, APEX has made a positive impact on physics education in Alabama its institutional resources, informational resources, and society as a whole. The project can serve as a model program for replication. For more information, please access APEX website at httpalapex.org. I heard about the APEX project through, the, um, through my Alabama Science in Motion um, representative. I teach three different preps of physics, and um, I have all levels of students. Step one, if the graph is a straight line, they begin by writing down the equation for slope, y equals mx plus b. If the relationship is not a straight line, try manipulating the variable, for example, square x, inward x, to get a straight line. Step 2. Students then replace generic variables x and y with the physical variables. We know from uh, how people learn that learners come to a learning situation with prior ideas, even if they don't have particular ideas ahead of time, as the instruction moves along, they participate in activities, they come up with ideas, they construct explanations and or solutions to problems based on uh, their prior ideas. 